Now you can see that Mama is always willing to share her food with her babies. Well, in this particular picture, she's willing to. See, but you see that she's actually standing on most of the food. Now I'm going to move across, and you can see that the smart ones are underneath her trying to eat because she's standing across the food. And she's such a quiet eater. Okay, now you can see the little ones having to eat underneath her. And on occasion, one of them will get smart and will want a little milk with their meat, with their uh, meal. So they'll take a little, a little suck, get a little milk, and then eat a little, eat a little, little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna back. I want you to also notice that Mama has some on her head because when you dump the food out, she's immediately under the bucket. She doesn't give them a chance to get first, first chance. And you can see there's quite a difference in them and their grandma and their daddy. Spot is actually a little small for a, uh, for a red wattle. Uh, we think she's probably, the rest of them, her age would be about mm, another seven to eight inches taller and quite a bit heavier. However, she has some beautiful babies, so we can't complain, or we shouldn't complain. I'm going to walk to the back and see if we can get more of them. Yep, there's one right smack underneath her. Can you see it? Right smack underneath her. Now, apparently, they have gotten all that she had left under her. Now she's working on the front, and they can't get to it. And she is not slowing down, nor making room. I know you do. Up, oh, up. Oh, we were trying to share an apple, but uh, Mama says nope. I think I'll take the apple too. Apple's mine. The apple is mine. Thank you very kindly. I appreciate it. Whoop, whoop, whoop! You better get fast, cause Mama is on her way. Yep, Mama got that one. Can't get him. Oh, I mean, yep, I almost could have, but he backed up on us. Now then, maybe they have a chance, cause Mama, it it's it's a little bitty one, I don't know little what it bitty, is. and they're not sure what it is. 
Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, wait I think minute, I, wait. yeah. Nope. But trust me, Mama will find it. Because here she comes. She says, yep. She says, I just get out of my way, kids. That's why the ground is so torn up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she said, get out of the way. I told you, I'm not going to tell you again. Okay, he did find it. Did you see? He did find it. He's got it. He's got a piece of apple over there. He said, yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, they're about finished here. I'm going to show you what their pot, what their uh, lot looks like. You've heard the term root hog or die. Well, this is what they mean by root hog or die. They automatically start rooting, and you can see they have made a total mess out of this yard. And Mama is still knocking them out of their way, out of her way. She just knocked one. I don't know if you heard the knock, but she just knocked them. Okay, here's one that's decided that, nope. Yep, yep, he's decided. I'm, I'm thirsty. I don't want any more of that. I want, I want something to drink. Kindly. And Mama says, no, we're not doing that either. What happened to that sweet, loving mother that would do anything for her children? I think she's tired. Had all this fun. She's, she wants. Thank you very kindly. Not interested in that anymore. I'm laughing, not at what they're doing at Terry and her problems with her goats over there. Here we go again. We're going for milk, not food. Thank you very kindly, but I want something to drink. And Mama won't fight me over this right now. She will in a minute, but right now it's working. Can you hear him? And you also see how they push the food down in the thing, and that's another reason why they go root hog. See how she turned around to get them out of her way. At least she's not laying on top of them yet. So we've given up. We know what's coming next. We've given up. There's no point in trying. I'd say somebody just got hit by the electric fence. I could be wrong. But it sounds like it. Here's another one going to try for a little milk.
Not today they won't. Okay, we're still trying to get apples to the little ones, and Mama is still saying, no, I don't think so. Here's one. He says, yes, yes. Nope. Nope. There's never any food left over. Nope. Okay, he says, yeah, I think I'll try that. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but but I think it's pretty good. Maybe. No, no, but this one said, yep, it was so good that now, I've, oh, oh. nope, 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 got down in the mud. Again, root hog will die. Yep, I think, I think, I think he's got it in her mouth. So, yep, yep, had it in the mouth and then dropped it. I said, but not again. Not again. Is that the little one over there? Yep. yep. Hey, little one. Oh, it's all over there. Yeah. And this is a little one. Little, little one was out checking Eli out. And now he's... Ooh, ooh. Nope, I'm going inside. It's getting cold. It's getting cold. I'm it's getting cold. I'm little. And this one says, okay, where, where, where are the rest of that stuff? I like that stuff. Yes, and I learn quick. And they do. Pigs are quick to learn. As you've heard before, the fourth smartest animal, I think, supposedly, other than humans. Well, no, they probably are smarter than we are. But nobody brings us food. But they are the smartest one on the, um, on the farm. This one's like, hey, you know what? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. I like that. Can you hear them out there? Is the little ones? Is the mama? Yep, yep, yep. I know what that is. Just gotta find it. They like that. Okay, it's getting cold. She's waiting for them to move. Mm -hmm. This chicken in front. Yeah. Uh -huh. She can get up on the get up on, on the manger on the manger and get up where her sister is up there in the rafters. It's supposed to be very very cold, and so we try to get straw for the animals for these animals. However, as you will see, they would prefer to eat all of their bedding instead of sleeping on it. So we've opened the other door, so when it really gets cold, they can go in on the other side where at least the wind won't get them. And you can see poor Ducati is left out, and poor baby, he's a sad, sad thing. And the twins, it's even harder to believe they're twins, but the twins are right there with the, with the burrows, or donkeys, or Eddie Murphy, or whatever you wish to call them.